Welcome to our podcast with soccer coach Chad Bodner. It's brought to you by Cheney Federal Credit Union, serving their members' financial needs since 1951. Coach, going back to uh, the sat- uh, Sunday game against Sacramento State, good win for your team, fourth winning sh- or fourth shutout of the season for you. Yeah, and uh, really had to kind of grit. It was uh, it was 94 degrees down there, and our you know our kids definitely are not getting kind of got unused to that. I would say you know from the summer and, and having the colder weather up here in Cheney, and it was something that we had to kind of battle through with some with a bunch of kids that are kind of beat up and and we have quite a few injuries right now so to go down there and and get a a road win I think is huge for us in terms of not only conference play but also keeping us you know in a chance to get a winning record this year uh what was key for you in that match at SAC you know we scored an early goal Kayla Lenning came on and scored an early goal and and she was uh you know she was a late start for us uh Paige has kind of got a, a hamstring issue and we, we really wanted to kind of just rest her a little bit. And so we gave Kayla a chance to go on a start. I don't know, it's probably her second start of the year, but um, she, you know, she got in and hit a ball and scored real early. And I think that kind of just got us going a little bit. Um, and then and then obviously having a chance to keep that lead and then, and then Cassie getting through and, and scoring a second was, was really big for us because we really kind of had to buckle down late in the game and, and defend. Natalie Schwery in goal was also outstanding for you. She made some tremendous saves. Um, I, I can think of three right off the bat that really kept us in the game and, and really frustrated the, the opponent just because, you know, she made a breakaway save on one that was just all Natalie. Um, and then two point blank saves kind of in the same sequence that kept them from scoring and getting some momentum coming at us. Friday against Portland State, another one of those games where you were really, really close, but you just couldn't quite get over the hump. Yeah, and and that's you know Portland State is a really tough place to play just because of the surface. It's it's a it's an astroturf surface. It's pretty hard. Um, they play a really direct style, and and it, you know we've been trying to get our kids to to really play and pass the ball and and create things and. We go play Portland State and they would launch balls at us for, you know, for 90 minutes. And, you know, we made one mistake early, a ball bounced over and they got in and scored. And then we're always chasing the game. And that's always tough when you, you know, you're chasing the game from behind against a team, especially that looks to play that way. You have some injury concerns at this point in time. So is it good to have a, a week off here uh, roughly until your next match? on Yeah, Sunday? it's a really good time for us just because, you know, Lacey was out with a concussion. You know, Savvy's about 70 percent and, you know, Paige has got a hamstring issue and that we got three or four other kids that are all kind of, you know, not not out out, but but hurting and need some time. And so we're going to give them a few days this week to kind of stay off the field, get in the treatment room and, and kind of make a push towards this this last part of our season. You've had a great year this year, just as far as it's, you know, last year was basically Cassie Black, and if if she couldn't put one in the back of the net, then the team didn't score. But you've had, I mean, between Paige Galloway and Savannah Hoekstra and and, and a few other girls, you've had a lot of people scoring goals for you this year. Yeah, and I think... You know, you take that part of it, and then Cassie scored more goals already this year than she did all of last year, and I think that's a credit to having other people around her that people have to worry about. And I, I remember talking to you that, you know, about that in, in one of our first podcasts here. Is I think she'll have more production this year because there's some people that can help her out, and she's also created a lot of goals for us, and she's done some things assist-wise to get Savvy in, to get Chloe in, and you know, those three, and then you add Paige and a couple of the other kids. That it, it's been a, a good streak for us in terms of scoring goals. I mean, 10 games in a row at a Division One level to score a goal in every every game is pretty incredible, to be honest with you. But, you know, we talk to the kids, too. It's, hey, it's great that we're scoring a goal, but, you know, the result is what matters. And so let's score two, let's score three, so we give ourselves a better chance. Is the next step maybe to win some of those tight games like the Portland State game that, that, that you didn't, a game where you get a goal, but you uh, you need to get two or three maybe to win? Yeah, and, you know, you hit it on the head because we met about that on, on Saturday. It's, it's you know, okay, we've beaten we've beaten these teams. Now when can we get a big one? When can we knock off somebody that's a perennial top, you know, big sky team? And I think it's coming. You know, I, I think we've made so many little steps along the way, and, and I see different pieces of it that we're getting better at. Um, we just got to put it all together. All right, this uh, Sunday, Idaho here in Cheney uh, at the soccer fields. Uh, tell us about the Vandals. You played them once already this year. We did. We played them really early on. Um, you know, they've run off a streak of three conference wins and, and look to be a different team than when we played them early. Um, they started the season, you know, pretty poorly, and I think Coach Pittman has them going, you know, and, and going at the right time. And so, 
you know, we've got to come in with a mindset that number one, can we get healthy? And then number two, you know, can we go in with the mindset that, hey, we haven't, as we played them and we beat them. Yeah, that's great. But this is a new deal and this is when it counts. And so we've really got to come in focused and ready to play. You had a pretty easy win over him in August. How hard is it to maybe get the, the, the players to erase that thought from their mind that, ooh, this is going to be an easy match? Yeah. And, you know, I wouldn't say it was an easy match. We just kind of hit everything that we, we put on goal and it just kind of kind of fell for us. And so, you know, four nothing is a big score line, but you know, if you look at the film and look at things, it's like, hey, you know, they got in here and it could have been very different. And so, you know, we're going to be very humble about our approach to it, and we're going to work hard this week. And you know, like I said, get everybody healthy, get everybody focused, and then try to make a push here towards the towards the last six games of our season, so that we make something of it. You know, our goal is to be in a tournament and and have a chance to play in the postseason. Do you have an idea in your head right now, and looking at the soccer standings, of all right, if we get to five and five in the league, we're going to be good for the postseason. I, I think if you get to five, you got a really good chance. Um, and, you know, that that's a long ways away for a program that every 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 win is a struggle, every win, you know, and, and so we got to focus on the next one and, and we got to focus on Idaho and we're going to focus on, you know, the little things we can improve. I, I think mentality-wise, our group, I see these big strides that, that are coming through this group about winning. Um, you know, watching how hard they played and, and fought to get that result against Sac State, it wasn't so much playing well, but it was a huge step in terms of a program that the kids just said, we're not going to lose today. we got to win today, and we're going to find a way, whether it's 95 degrees or, you know, 30 degrees, and we're going to go find a way to win. And so that, for me, I took out of it as a real positive. And, and just to see the elation on their face after the game and, you know, how happy they were, it's like, you know, this is a great feeling. Let's keep doing it. Let's do more, and let's take the next one, and we'll take it week by week and see what we can do. Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck on uh, Sunday. No problem. Thank you. You betcha. Chad Bodner here with our soccer podcast here on GoEags.com, brought to you by Cheney Federal Credit Union.